hanging out here at Jammers uh, Sports Bar and Restaurant in Lakeland with a guy. I, I think I first met him in 1995. I was the new guy on the dirt circuit working Canandaigua, Cuga County, Rolling Wheels in Syracuse. Mike Button was already pretty well established by then. He started racing VW Mini Sprints back in the 80s, uh, actually raced against Eric Kingsley. Uh, picked up his only win in that division at Brewerton. He has not won in a sportsman since, but he hopes to uh, change that. He has wins over the years, Cuca County, uh, Rolling Wheels, um, Canandaigua, Can-Am, Paradise, Fulton, Utica, Rome, and remember old Gas Fort Speedway. There's one for you guys that we haven't mentioned in a long time. He finished 10th in points at Brewerton in the sportsman division. First of all, how we been? Oh, we've been really good. So Saw everybody's you healthy. Yeah. So, uh, of course, you're a father-in-law now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the going to be his grandfather pretty soon. Oh, are you really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's I'm not all. supposed to tell anybody, but oh, everybody so. will know soon enough. Shh, yeah. Don't say anything, guys, okay? Don't make sure if you see Ronnie or what's your daughter's name again? Tess. Tess, yeah. So yeah. if you see them, don't say anything. We're not supposed to know, okay? Yeah. So that will be a new experience, won't it? Oh, yeah, it'll be good. We already, I've already planned on... Uh, building a tree house out I, where there's like three trees mm-hmm. in like the perfect position. I've already got a big tree house planned and nice. so it'll be fun. So if it's a girl, she'll be a dancer. And if she, it's a boy, they be a dancer and a race car driver, right? Yep, that's what we're thinking. Okay. Yep. And you, you told me, I think, I think I told you when I talked about this years ago, the dancing skipped you or something and went to your daughter, right? It so. must have, because I actually, it's <laughs> the most ironic thing about the whole thing. We talked about this yes, one other, did. Doug and I. And uh, we got talking about uh, different things that we did. I actually, they had, uh, and it was only the father's dance. Oh. And uh, I did it for 15 years. And oh, you mean she was coming up at the dance places. Okay. Yes. And uh, during that 15 years stretch is when I won probably 90% of the races that I won. Really? So the dancing helped your footwork, baby. I have no wheel. idea what it did, but that's it. That's how it ended up happening. All right. So, Tess, make sure to get Dad back on the dance floor this year, yep. and he'll get back to Victory Lane. You told me, I, I remember a couple years ago, you had a slug of a motor, but we made a change there. But then another change you mentioned, the son of somebody we knew pretty well uh, back in the day is, is really what turned your season around, at least there at the end. Yeah, we... Uh my brother, we struggled, and I mean, I swear some nights I'd leave the track, and I'm like, I'm just getting too old. I'm, it's, I remember I saw Maybe it's nights. time that I just sat up there and, uh, you know, just watch. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, Ronnie, and I, I, we got a lot of other guys that we work with. And uh, so then we got working with Brandon at Dig Shocks, and he gave us a setup that he's like, I want you to put this on the car and I want you, you're going to tape the coils so you can't move them. So because okay. we don't need to be adjusting them all the time. And he's like, just go there and race it. And he gave us a setup and we've done the bars and we were tried the, so you, you know, been on the, the coils. Okay. And uh, I'm like, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. And okay. then come to find out. I was a little better driver than I thought I was. Really? I'm like, maybe I'm not as old as I think I am. Where was it better? It was just all the way. All, all the way around. It was just track, like, huh? it was like driving a different car. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So if so. one was a little bit different and 10 was totally different, what was it? Was it um, a 10? It was 10. It yep. was 10. Yeah. Yep. And then the last night we had a great race with uh, Murtaugh. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm... That's I, I'm gonna I want to make damn sure I beat that guy at least one time this year. <laughs> but I mean, it was probably it was one of those races that even finishing second, it was a good second. And he's such a good guy that mm-hmm. I'm like, I I just wish he could be like a pain in the ass so I could feel <laughs> bad about getting beat by him. But he can't. So at that point, no, he's just a good guy. And it's one, and we had you know we raced to get clean. And I'm like God. But I felt good because he's a young guy, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. you almost got beat by the old man here. <laughs> I would have felt, and you would have sure you would have reminded him and his dad about that too. It's oh point, yeah, right? it, yeah, and it's funny because him and his father, him and I are good, you know, pretty good friends yes. too. So we bust each other once in a while. Yeah, he's done a lot for the sport. He was the, does it the go karts out there too. So you, were, so I can imagine at that point you were pretty psyched for Outlaw Weekend, but you had a problem. You told me you hadn't had all year. Yeah, we went to Outlaw, and we've had you know we finally got the car going we were looking like we could just we wanted to just qualify is the key there and we had to, we had a bad draw when we went through the gate so we but we've had bad draws but and then we i went out there and we had brake problems the whole weekend yeah 
and it's, I don't know, and, and I know other guys that have gone through it, and it seems like it's one of those things that at the track, it's just hard to get it straightened out. What was it? You know what? We really don't know because oh, that was the last know. time we raced, so we okay. pushed it in the garage. Well, did you have and a pedal? It had, it had pedal for about two laps. It was, had great brakes as long as you were in the pits. But as soon as you got on the racetrack, about two laps in, it slowly fade away. So, so you started with master cylinder and look at the lines. Yeah, it's probably it needs new master cylinders. I think after six is, or eight huh? years, probably need to be replaced. Oh, that's that old. I guess I didn't think you got that much out of master cylinders. Well, most guys don't. Oh, well, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, you, you're you're more experienced. You don't break as much. You, you go in a lot harder than the young guys do, right? Yeah, I'm just pretty resourceful <laughs> on that stuff. So how's the car look now? If, you, it, if I was We've been shop. working on it, and uh, so... We'll get her back together. We got some changes we're going to make, but, but pretty not much. too much, right? No, we aren't changing a lot. Yeah. And, uh, but it's just a lot of stuff that we ran last year that kind of needs to be repaired and a few okay. updates, and hopefully we'll be back to Brewerton again Friday nights. Strip it down to the frame and all of that? Nope. This will be the first time, I think, in my career that we we're haven't stripped to. it right down. Okay, nope. But obviously we looked at the welds and all of that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Sure. And it was we had gone it and, and uh, had Art Holiday go through it last year, and he had done some work on it for us. Okay. So and anything that needed to be fixed, he had fixed. So okay. we kind of keep track of it, and it, our best bet is just take it right up there and have so him So outside do of the new master cylinder, what else are you, where areas are you thinking about upgrading? Um, we need It needs a new rear end. Okay. That, that's going to be the biggest change. Mm-hmm. And What's then, you running? know, we got to change a couple things with the motor. and. Okay. Well, What's a new rear end running nowadays? You know, I don't even know because we okay. haven't bought one in so long. <laughs> and you need everything, right? No, actually, all we really need is like the center section, ring okay, and pinion. Okay, so the tubes are good, the axles yeah, are good. Yeah, all the other parts good, yeah. Okay, all right. So You got the Gen 2 transmission and everything too? Oh, yeah, yeah. So okay. we're, we're not bad, but we still need to update. To keep up with these young guys, mm-hmm. we got to be at least as good, if not maybe a little better. But I would imagine that the way in with what you learned at the end of the year with Brandon down at Dig Race Products, probably feeling a little more optimistic coming into this year than you have been in a while. Oh, yeah. I, at, last year, I mean, I, I really was kind of still like we were guessing. Mm-hmm. And I think finally this year, um, I'm kind of excited to get going again. Nice. So, yeah. Going to see you at the show or anything like that? Um, we, we, are, we aren't that prepared, Doug. You know that. Okay. Well, I didn't know. I thought maybe <laughs> yeah. it could be one of those years when – you could be ready nice, but we'll make opening night at Bruden, no problem. Probably, hopefully make the hot laps maybe the week before or something like that. Yeah, that's what our goal is. Yeah, right. so hopefully I that. Appreciate you making time, man. Again, uh, thanks to everybody here at Jammers. Thanks to Rudy Plumbing. You raced against Earl for oh, quite yeah. some time. Oh, yeah, and, you know, I feel so bad because we kind of had a little scuffle at the end oh, no. of the year, and uh, I got to get a hold of Earl and say, uh-huh. man, I'm – it, well, here's how you can do it. 315-638-RUDY. Oh, I got his number on my car. Up, so. Is the worst thing. Oh, that's right, because yeah. he helps you out. So they're right there in central New York, guys. They helped us out with a, a little problem that could have turned into a big one. So thanks for them. And uh, whether it's, again, a sink or a, or a big deal, water heaters never go at 2 in the afternoon. They always go at 3 in the morning. Rudy's the guy to call. And nice. you know what? I uh-huh. can tell you one thing. My mother, who is, God bless her, has been involved in this sport forever. And uh, we called Earl, and within an hour, he had a guy out there. So wow. that's the kind of guy he is. And, and this was after we had our little scuffle. But you know mm. what? I think we all, hopefully, we can put that behind us. There you go. So. He's a passionate man, and so are you. So yeah. appreciate you spending time. Guys, make sure to turn on the notifications, subscribe, put a like, of course, and leave a comment. And I'll be talking to you about a win here real soon. I hope so. Thank you.